Hi guys, this is Vince, I'm with 1A Garage Doors and today I want to show you the difference between the LiftMaster chain and the belt. We've been getting a lot of requests on exactly what's the difference, what sets them apart. And the uh, first thing I want to start off, of course, one of the main things is going to be the belt. This is kind of what it looks like. And you got the chain rail right here. And a lot of people ask me, well, isn't the belt weaker? Isn't it gonna break on you? No. And the reason why LiftMaster actually gives you a lifetime warranty on it. And if you actually take a look at it right here, there's little cables inside this belt. So uh, it's just not the empty belt on it. One biggest advantage to having a belt versus the chains, um, it's much easier on the gear on top because this belt will have a little play while the chain drive is solid. So that means if you don't lubricate the door, if it gets stuck on something, it it puts a lot of stress on the, on the gear on top right here. Another biggest difference as you might see is gonna be just the looks. And if you take a look at it, at the uh, lights, this new, it's the model 87504, has all built-in LEDs right here, which means you never have to replace the light bulbs again. While if you take the chain drive, you have the bulb right here, and there's usually a cover that goes on it. The battery back, these are both battery backups because we are in California, and that's the new California law, but if you take the belt, much easier to replace it. You just open it and you just put the battery in and close it like this. While the chain drive, you gotta unscrew right here and you pull out the battery. Uh, another, another neat thing about the belt versus the chain, you have the antenna right here just kind of sticking out and we have a lot of customer asks about it. While the belt is actually, you know, they thought about this and they built it all up inside the frame right here, which is hidden away from you. Um, then you have the two wall buttons. That's one of the other main difference. This is the, the one for the chain, that's the belt right there. If you notice the belt's gonna have the LED screen on there. And I mean, that wall button's like a computer. So anything that's usually wrong with it, it will pop up right here. On the uh, belt drive, you're gonna have the motion sensors you got, you know, there's a lot of, you could set how long you want the lights to be on. There's timer, there's different languages, temperatures, everything, motion sensors here. While the chain is just pretty much straightforward, also neat, but just straightforward to the point, open and close. You have the light here, you flip this up, you got the learn button and the lock button. Um, and that's, and one of the uh, well, one of the other big difference on the belt, if you go right underneath it, you have you pull this down, and there's actually a camera, and the camera, as you can see, has a speaker in there too. And when you set it up, you could actually swivel swivel the camera anywhere you want to. And if you don't want to use it, flip it back up, and you're good to go. So these are kind of the two main things difference on the belt and the chain drive. Hopefully, this kind of makes your decision. Of course, the belt's usually the best way, better way to go, even if you gotta pay a little bit more, but the man, even the manufacturer warranty, um, how quiet it is, just smooth on the gear, is always preferable over the chain drive. And uh, again, this is the model 87504 on the belt, and this one is the 8160 WB on the chain. Thank you guys and hopefully this makes, helps you out with the, any decision on purchasing your next garage door opener.